Hey, what's up guys? This is Rayella with Kitty Bit. And Sashimi. And it is weekly reset time. So we are here abusing this poor little NPC that's probably the best lived NPC living his best life. If I had to be an NPC in a game, I think I'd be this guy. He just sits oh, in yeah. a hot spring all day under a waterfall. I mean, the only way he could be any better is if he had some food somehow. So let's take a look at these new yeah. event quests. We're going to go through everything, lower rank, uh, high rank, as well as master rank. Uh, since master rank is the new stuff, though, we're going to hit that area first for you guys. So in master rank event, we have... First off is Pearl Snatchers from last week. Not new, but if you haven't gotten your monkey hat yet, and you want a monkey riding around on you, which who doesn't, this is what you got to do. And it's also a good one to get the uh, gold monkey mm. from the hot spring. He's got a pretty good chance of popping in this one. As well as hunter rank points. And it's really quick and easy. Yep, we found our golden uh, macaque like two or three times mm -hmm. down in area two in the hot spring there. So, yep. get your caption net ready. This one is two of these dudes, Bayo Totus? Yeah, Bayo. Yeah, pretty decent zinny for what they are. They're not real hard. And you get tickets to make a great sword that looks like a fish. Huge old tuna. It's also a good hunter rank farm as well. Yep, and the greatsword is actually really good too. Uh, its ice element is more than even the Velcana greatsword when it's been maxed out. It's actually a pretty good, pretty good greatsword. It, it might even be, who knows, maybe the next Wyvern Ignition, but ice. This one, you just gotta go and collect some hard fruits or what they called, whatever those do. Hard are. skin fruit. Hard skin fruit, yeah. It's pretty quick and easy. And it's a good hunter rank farm as well. There's not really anything interesting going on in this one though no interesting monsters just like Raytheon maybe Sleepy Palumu yep so if you got some farm gear you can also throw that on as well to speed this up um, since you're just getting in there gathering the items it can be a good hunter rank farm or decoration farm we got a couple of decent decorations out of it next up we got a, a new troublemaker in town this one is an Anjanath and a Banboro um, Master rank 4 or higher is needed to get in. You're going to be getting 34,000 zenny for this one. Uh, if you need parts for these guys, any rare parts for Anjanath or Bonbro, this seems to be the quest to do it. Um, no real special items, nothing we've run into in a few runs that we've done it. Um, these guys, we did find some silver crowns on Bonbro and Anjanath, so it seems like it could be a decent one for crowns, at least mm -hmm. silver. We haven't seen any gold yet. It was really good zenny for, they'd go down pretty easy. Yeah. Um, this quest is, uh, what is this one? So it's a sky of sea and fire, or, yeah, sky and sea of fire. <laughs> so this one you need to be mastering rank 7 for. Uh, you're going to be up against a Rathalos as well as a Lavasioth. You get 40,000 zenny. Uh, this is another hunter rank, mastery rank farm, as well as parts for these guys. Yeah, uh, I think we got a gem and a mantle from the Rathalos from this one. Yeah, we got some good parts. Like, we actually got some good parts and a decent gem, too. And I think we got a silver crown, I believe, on the Lavasioth. Yes. So, But they actually hit pretty hard, and the Rathalos seemed, ra like, extra aggressive in this mm -hmm. one. He seemed really nasty, so... If you need to farm those guys, look no further. Uh, this one is another Hunter Rank, Mastery Rank, and Part Farm. Uh, this one is for Diablos, as well as uh, the Nightmare Palumu. The Sleep, sleepy one. Sleepy Palumu. What is he called? Whatever. Nightshade. Yeah, that one. So you're going to be getting 34,000 zenny on this one. It's mastery rank 7 or higher. You can faint up to three times. Uh, they weren't too hard. They went down pretty easily. Even with a, a very... We found a gold crown black Diablos in this one when we went in. So you may run into her as well, but it still wasn't that bad. So if you need parts from either of these or a little extra mastery rank, then you can go for that one. There's also a new arena quest for Master Rank, but we'll get to that when we do the arena stuff. Yep. So let's go ahead and take a look at the low rank and high rank. You want to get us going on these? All right. Lessons of the Wild. I believe this is for the Palico gear. Yeah, the Watcher gear. Mm -hmm. Still really easy. You don't really get much zenny or anything, but if you still need that uh, Palico gear, if you're new to the game, then that's a good one to go and do. Just so you guys know, um, this one, the Proving and Heart of the Nora are all actually PlayStation 4 exclusives oh, because yeah. it is a collab event uh, between Monster Hunter and Horizon Zero Dawn. 
Alright, this one I believe is for the high rank version of the Aloy gear. So if you haven't done that one and you actually want to use her gear, it's a decent set. I think it's got the same skills as Rithalos. Yep, and if you're looking for a good quest, uh, the Anjanath here is massive. So oh, if you yeah, need crowns. a gold crown or any kind of large crowns for Anjanath, this is a good one for that. And Heart of the Nora is if you want her layered gear, you want to look like her, but you don't want to have to wear the stuff. All you gotta do is fight a couple Temper Pickles, which shouldn't be too difficult now if you got Master Rank gear. Yeah, if you got the Mastery Rank gear. You will need to be HR 50, though. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyone that might be new to Monster Hunter starting off and they went straight into Mastery Rank... Uh, hit up some of those Hunter Rank farms. Yeah, which we will be getting to in just a few minutes here. Greeting the Gluttons is is a classic Zenny farm as well as a low, rank, uh, low and high rank uh, decoration farm. Mm -hmm. If you take your Bandit Madeline into this quest and beat the crap out of everything with that, you'll get tons of Zenny items. And you generally get between two to five uh, lower rank decorations. So. Oh, it's also good for meal vouchers, too. Yes, you do get meal vouchers uh, regularly on this, as well as uh, you can get a quite a few other basic items. Uh, potions, ancient potions, traps, that kind of thing. Wicked Wildspire Warfare. This one is actually a farm quest. So those of you who are brand new to Monster Hunter, this is actually a really good quest. You can access it as soon as Hunter Rank 8. Uh, there's going to be a Diablos with two Baroths. The good thing about this is they most of them will drop the more rare drops from these monsters, and the two Baroths being easy monsters really drop that Diablos' hit points down. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a really good quest for farming these three monsters. So if you need some early on gear, you newer hunters, this is a great quest for getting it. And also drops armor spheres. Yep, lots and lots of armor spheres. So this is kind of a good quest to get you going toward high rank. This one is Flesh Cleave to Bone. This one's another farm quest. You're going to be in the arena. This is going to be between you and a O-Dog A. Aaron and a Radaban. Radaban, whatever. Uh, 7920 Zenny. This is a good one at Hunter Rank 8 if you want to farm these guys because both O-Dog and uh, Rado, Rado Rado have uh, pretty good gear. So, mm -hmm. Especially if you want to look like a big armored cat, Radaban's gear is great. It's also good Palico gear if you want a sleep weapon. Definitely. Wildspire Bolero, I cannot say that, is uh, for research or it's also a good crown farm. You usually got a good chance of getting a small or large crown from those. Really good zinni if you don't die and you don't have to be a real uh, high hunter rank to do it. And it does take quite a bit of time though to take them all down, but they're also really easy to fight. So if you need any one of these and you're having a hard time with them it's a good way to potentially farm them because they have very low hit points oh for sure with five monsters out there they all drop pretty quickly and you get 30,000 for beating it so that's not yeah. a bad bit as any scorn of the sun ah uh, this guy extra tempered tail it's a lot of zinni but probably gonna die so probably not gonna get it well maybe not with your monastery rank here and, and this... he drops some special gear too yeah, this guy is also hunter rank 50 or higher, so it's a bit of a gateway to hit for uh, newer hunters. But if you want to challenge yourself before you get to master rank, the Teo Texcator, as he's known in Japan, he's the Texan cat. Whoa. He's a spicy boy, and he likes to fry you. This is same deal, but with Kushala. So again, hunter rank 50 and gear and extra tempered. And same thing, but Zora. So he's a siege, plays a little differently, but same deal, gear, hunter rank 50, tons of Zidney if you don't die, extra tempered. Yep, and if you're looking for the gamma gear sets, if you're a new hunter and you heard about the gamma gear sets, that's where these come into play. These guys mm -hmm. will all drop the parts for their gamma gear. Next up, if you are looking to increase your hunter rank, um, this one is actually your hunter rank increase. It says over here it's bonus hunter rank points. I, we have not tested to see if this actually gives you any mastery rank. It might, but I wouldn't rely on that. Uh, hunter rank 30, huntery. Hunter huntery rank. rank. <laughs> hey, why not? Hunter rank 30 or higher to get in. And this is one of the best quests as far as getting your hunter rank up. You're mm -hmm. going to be up against a tempered Anjanath as well as an Azure Rathalos. They're not too bad, though. Uh, the Rathalos can be a pain in the butt now and then, but they both drop pretty quick since they're sharing an HP pool, especially with the new update where they made it so if you have two players or less, 
uh, oh, their yeah. HP is a lot lower now. So these, it's actually a little bit easier to farm your hunter rank now with a friend. All right. So before we switch over, oh, it is time to go. The Cult Teroth. Oh yeah, Cult is, is up. actually available. Fixing to get in some arena fun. So that might be some good gear if you're maybe having trouble with mastery rank. But it's pretty hard to get if you're not in mastery rank gear. So maybe not. It is really cool looking though. All right, so we got Toby and Toby. Toby and extra annoying Toby. It's a pretty annoying arena quest because of the poison and whatnot, but you can use those weapons up there yep. and you get stuff, better stuff, if you can complete it in seven minutes, then 13, then 50, less stuff. So if you're looking, if you're out to get those coins for the martial, the the uh, black belt gear you've mm -hmm. seen in your mastery rank, uh, master, yeah, your master rank blacksmith, then this is where you want to start farming for those coins. So if you need Toby's coins, you'll get quite a few of them here. Uh, like Sasha said, though, if you are new to challenge quests, please know these will select the gear for you. So don't eat before you go in; mm -hmm. it's a waste of money. Don't bother and, with your items either. Yeah, no items, because everything once you get in, you will have certain builds. Uh, those are the weapons that are focused for this one, so that's what you get to play around with. Also drops dust of life and silver eggs, so decent zinni and uh, rare item farm. Yep, you can get a, a lot of the basic stuff. It's a good basic kind of everyday item farm. Next up, we've got the Challenge Quest 1, The Beginner. Uh, this one's been around forever. It's just a cut... A cut coup. It is just a Kuliyaku <laughs> as well as a Puke Puke. And this is just a two-star, Hunter Rank 2 or higher to get in. You can use those weapons right above Sash there. There are your <laughs> ranks over to the left. 2 minutes 30, 5 minutes 30, and 50 minutes. Pretty much just a... It's really just another coin farm on this one. And we have our last coin farm here. This one is just, this is our first high rank one. HR 13 or higher to get in. Um, oh, by the way, for newer hunters, you might see you can faint on these nine times. Do not take that for granted. Uh, you will not have the benefit of your cats in these, and most of them you can only access with two players. And generally, the monsters are a bit more aggressive in the arena. Yeah, and they can't leave, so... Neither can you. Yeah, well, y'all stuck. There are... Some of the some of the builds in these will give you... Uh, the They'll give you items so you can go back to camp. But don't expect it. So once you're in there, you're going to need to kill them in 4.30 for an A, 9.30 for a B, or 50 minutes for a C with those weapons of your choice. If you're needing coins, uh, I believe this one also drops Hunter King coins, which are pretty beneficial if you're wanting the, the higher rank uh, black belt gear. So. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much going to cover it for this week. We've got a few new quests, a bit of fun new stuff. I was hoping for more like special items right out of the gate, but um, it looks like right now they're just giving us a bunch of stuff to make farming gear a little bit easier, help get everyone acclimated, which is cool. We appreciate it. So outside of that, hope you guys have fun hunting. If you are new to the channel, likes and appre likes and appreciates. <laughs> likes and subs are appreciated but not required. What we do ask for around here is that you consider, if it's within your means, adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, petfinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring one home with you due to allergies or living conditions, what have you? There's other ways you can show your love for those guys out there. But what are some of those? You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys. Or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes. They can use all that kind of stuff. Yep. So if you've got love to give, there's plenty of ways to give it. And plenty of animals out there who could use that love and care. And speaking of love, we love you guys. Remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. And we'll see you next time, hunters. Happy hunting. Happy hunting.